Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Let's Play by Colorful Artie. This is a very different game than I have played in the past. It is Plants vs. Zombies, also known as the best game ever released for iOS. So, it's a very different style game than I play. I usually play, like, point-and-click adventure games or action-adventure games or platforming games. This is a tower defense game, and it's probably the only tower defense game I'll be playing. But man, this this game is awesome. Let me tell you what, it, it's just so well made. And like I said, so I am playing the PC version. This is on Steam, so this is Plants vs. Zombies, the game of the year edition. I played just regular old Plants vs. Zombies on my iPhone and slash iPad, iPod Touch growing up. And it sounds a game very near and dear to me, and I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. And I will be trying to get as much stuff in this as I possibly can. So if we go to achievements, there's a list of stuff you can do. And I'm just telling you right now, they've drastically reduced the number of achievements for the Game of the Year edition compared to uh, the iPhone edition, so that's great. And, oh, if we squirmed, <laughs> scroll down, we've got other great pop cap characters like Bookworm, the Bejeweled Jewels. Not sure who that guy is. Oh no, it's the unicorn skeleton from Peggle. A pipeline. I think those are from Zumba's Revenge. And we scroll down all the way and we can see the zombies are also in China. And that, scrolling all the way down gave you an achievement in the iPhone edition. I'll probably be talking about a lot of the differences between the iPhone edition and this edition. Just, you know, I like comparing what, I, what I've seen now with what I grew up with. Anyhow, I don't want there to be a super long intro, although there's something right here. Zombatar. This is not something I'm used to. Make your own zombie. Uh, yes, please. What the heck is this? To get started, choose your zombie skin color below. When you're ready to change other parts, click the categories on the left. What? So we can change the zombie skin color from different, uh, is there anything other than green or, like, brownish? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's make him very, very green, then. If, we're, if he's gonna be green, we're gonna go all the way. Is this supposed to look like me? Hair color? Slash hairstyle. I'm gonna make the arty zombie. Facial hair. I don't have facial hair, but this can make me look a little bit more... The zombie look a little bit more like me by making him more blue. The goatee. Die. <laughs> hmm, which of these look good? I like, I like the big poofy mustache. I also do love the handlebar mustache. It probably covers the most. Tidbits? What the heck is this? <laughs> you can give him clown makeup. I don't want to give him clown makeup or eyelashes. <laughs> he looks so worried. He's like, hey, I don't know about this. Ugh. Worm coming out of his eye. Ooh, angry eyebrows. Yeah, we're giving him angry eyebrows. We can't make him blue, though. Oh my gosh, different sunglasses? We can give him an eye patch. Oh, heck yes. Clothes? Oh, and we can see him in action. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know. I wish I could see the full extent of his clothes. But I'll, I'll do that, I guess. <laughs> this, is, this is nuts. This was not in the iPhone edition at all. Is this going to change the way those zombies look in the game? Okay, then a change of plans. Instead of making the arty zombie, we're making a pirate zombie. Yeah. Alright, in this case, we're making Blackbeard. <laughs> Blackbeard the pirate zombie. Absolutely, we are. Ooh, that could be good. Which of these is most pirate-like? That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the heck is this? I'm a oh, yes, pirate at. This is perfect. I'll take a look at what the other ones are. Oh, Subnado! <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty interesting. Definitely going for pirate hat though. Backdrops. Uh, is there a C? 
There's not, so I'll just keep the default finished. Are you sure you're done creating the Zombitar? If you wish to make any changes after you click finish below, you'll need to start over. I wish I could see all the clothes he's wearing, so... Oh my gosh, you can give him the Kermit the Frog neck nape. That's ridiculous. Uh... Honestly, that's probably the most pirate-like out of all of these that I can see. I can't tell what all that is, but I don't think it's very pirate-like, so yeah, we'll do that. Finished. I have no idea if this actually does anything, but your Zomitar has been saved to your desktop as a JPEG image file. I didn't want that. Does this actually do anything in the game? Or is this literally just to make... Oh man, if that's literally just you save the image, that's so stupid. I thought I would actually change the in-game, some of the in-game zombies to look like that. Alright, forget that. Alright, let's just start the game. It's been long enough. <laughs> that's new. <laughs> that was not in the iPhone edition. Pop Ga Cap Games presents... Plants vs. Zombies. It's the zombie apocalypse, and the only way to stop it is to do some gardening. <laughs> it's Artie's house. I made a profile off off camera in order to just make sure I could record it properly. Click on a seed packet to pick it up. So we got the pea shooters here. Click on the grass to plant your seed. Boom. Nicely done. Keep on collecting sun. You'll need it to grow more plants. So sun is kind of our currency in the game, so to speak. Every sun we collect will give us 25 sun. Excellent. You've collected enough for your next plant. Don't let the zombies reach your house! So right now we only have pea shooters as our plant. They're your basic boy, they're gonna spit peas at the zombies as they get close. And yeah, they do a very effective job at killing zombies at a distance. There's gonna be sun falling from the sky, which is how we purchase more plants, so we're just gonna keep picking it up, and as we get enough, we can plant more pea shooters. Pea shooters require 100 sun to plant. Not much to say here. Final wave. So the, the first couple levels are going to be very boring, but trust me, this game gets real good. It becomes very strategic. Oh yeah, I love that. I love that jingle. We get a new plant! Sunflowers gives you additional sun, and they only cost 50 sun to plant. These guys are going to be probably the most important plant in the game. Back at Artie's house. Uh-oh, there's more zombies who are trying to reach our house. You fool, I don't have any brains. Sunflowers are an extremely important plant. Yes, they are. Try to plant at least three of them. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be planting a whole lot more of those. So sunflowers will basically generate sun at a similar rate that it gets dropped from the sky. The more sunflowers you have, the faster you can grow plants. Exactly. So these are kind of your money-making uh, plants. You need them in order to get a bunch more sun so you can rapidly build up your other plants like pea shooters. You're going to need these on pretty much every single level. So now the zombies are going to start coming, so I'm going to save up for a pea shooter. Plant them right there. My general rule of thumb is two columns of sunflowers is generally the best. So I'm going to keep planting them. Yeah, so it's tower defense, so you basically have to put stuff down in order to fend off enemy attacks. But just with a unique gimmick behind it. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be our last sunflower, and the rest of our sun is going to go exclusively to pea shooters. So the zombies have to walk a long way across the lawn in order to reach your house. If they reach your house, it's game over. Thankfully, our plants are highly effective at taking them down. Also, I thought for sure I said I don't want to show the mouse cursor on my footage, but oh well. You guys get to see my mouse cursor, at least for the first episode. That'll, that'll help. That's one area I think the PC version is going to be a little tougher. In the iPhone version, you can literally just tap on the screen, because it's a touch screen, exactly where you want to do stuff. So you can, do, you can plant stuff and pick stuff up really, really quickly. And you can still pick stuff up quickly in the PC version, I suppose, but... Also, this game has ridiculously good music. 
There's not a whole lot of music tracks in it, but it, it's good. As a rule of thumb, Artie rarely plays games that doesn't that don't have good music. Oh my gosh, wait, no! That is my zombie! <laughs> yeah, our Blackbeard deleted these. Oh, okay, great. So Blackbeard is going to... Okay, so Blackbeard replaced the flag zombies. So the flag zombies are the ones that basically lead out these huge waves to your lawn. More on huge waves in a bit. And we get a new plant! So basically, every, pretty much every time we beat a level, we're gonna get a new plant. So we get a lot of plants in this game. Although it's admittedly, it's a pretty short game. You got a new plant! Cherry Bomb. Blows up all zombies in an area. Costs 150 sun. I'll go into a bit more in-depth analysis of each of the plants later, but right now, I'm just gonna take them as they come. Back at Artie's house, and you can see some of those zombies over there have, um, traffic cones on their head. That's a new type of zombie called the Road Cone Zombie. All the zombies we faced thus far have been very easy. Road Cone Zombies, because they have a cone on their head, will give them extra armor, and thus they'll take a bit more of a beating before they'll die. They're still not too bad, but we gotta watch out for that. Alright, so first zombie's coming by, so we should probably save up for our pea shooter, even though I can buy another sunflower. Gonna wait for that. Planting him a little further down the lawn because, again, I want two columns of sunflowers. I, I want my sunflowers in the back, so it's, that makes it the hardest for the zombies to reach them and eat them. Because your sun producers are important. I'm not saying you absolutely have to plant your sunflowers in the back, but it's generally a pretty good idea. Later on in the game, I'll show you situations where it can be useful to uh, put your sunflowers a little farther up. But that's a long way coming. I'm, I'm, I'm very familiar with this game. I've beaten it many, many times. I'm excited to be playing this. Brains. Brains? It's very simple gameplay, yes. But that's part of why I really like it. And it, it, it starts out really simple, and then it gradually gets more and more complex as you get more and more plants that can do different things, and you face more and more different types of zombies. So you might be wondering what the Cherry Bomb does, so I'll be saving the Cherry Bomb for when we face a bunch of zombies. Basically, you plant the Cherry Bomb and it'll blow up a 3x3 three three area. So if I plant the Cherry Bomb here, it'll blow up this entire 3x3 three three grid of squares. And insta-kills all zombies near there. So that's pretty nice. That's a Road Cone guy, so as you can see, his cone's getting beat up, but he himself is not taking any damage. So I'm gonna put another Pea Shooter there, just so we can kill him quickly. And as you can see, there we go. He's dead. And now I'll show off the Cherry Bomb, so... Because this guy has a lot of HP, watch what happens if I put the Cherry Bomb down. Boom. Instant death. Now one thing to keep in mind, though... So you'll notice all of my plants have a recharge meter, so like... I can play the Sunflower, but... As you can see, this meter is gradually filling in. Different plants have different recharge times. So Sunflowers and Pea Shooters have a really fast recharge time. After you plant one, as you can see, I can't plant another one until that meter builds it back up, even if I have enough sun. Cherry Bombs, though, have a much slower recharge. As you can see, it's like I've been planting a bunch of Pea Shooters one after the other, and it keeps recharging fast, but the Cherry Bomb takes more time. So that's something to keep in mind about plants as well. And it makes sense for the Cherry Bomb to have such a slow recharge, because if you could just plant them pretty much constantly to blow up a bunch of stuff, that would be kind of broken. So, so far, so good. Still very simple. And here's our new plant. You got a new plant! Walnut blocks off zombies and protects your other plants. So, the Walnut costs 50 sun, it has a slow recharge just like the Cherry Bomb, and it's one gimmick basically is it has a lot of HP. Now, I haven't shown off what happens, but if a zombie e gets to one of your plants, it'll start eating it, and it generally can eat any of your plants in just a few seconds. Walnuts, however, take a much longer time for them to eat, and so I'll show this off in this uh, upcoming level. But here we go, more regular zombies, a couple more cone heads. And now we have all five lanes. So we started out with just one lane, now we've got five lanes. And the rest of the game is going to be five lanes for every level. Which is good, it makes it a little more interesting. I think it's generally a good idea to plant your sunflowers instead of column, then another column, to rather plant them, like, row by row. That way, if there's a zombie that comes down here at the beginning, yeah, like that, there's no sunflowers in their way. The 
It doesn't really matter, but eh, it's just one of those minor optimizations. One of, yeah, one of the... I love this game. It's really, really well done. One of the only issues I take is that it is a very easy game. And I don't even take that much of an issue with it. I like easy games. But if you're looking for, like, a really big, challenging tower defense game, this is probably not the one for you. But it is a very good intro to the tower defense genre. So as you can see, remember what I said, two columns of sunflowers. So I used, I was originally just planting six, now I'm going to be planting ten. And the reason is, bigger lawn means we need more plants. So we need more sunflowers. And again, feel free to experiment with different amounts on your own. In my personal experience playing this game, I find that two columns of sunflowers gets that sweet spot just right. You, yeah. Alright, so now I think I'll try to demonstrate off what happens if a zombie reaches your plant. So I planted a sunflower right there, and he, yep, he ate him in just a few seconds. Watch what happens when I put a walnut down, though. As you can see, that walnut is not dying. He will eventually, but right now he's a tough nut to crack. He has a lot of HP. And as you can see, he's starting to crack a little bit. That means he's lost a decent amount of his HP. And then he can crack even more, and then he'll die. So he just has a lot of HP, so he's basically like a defensive plant. A barrier that will stop zombies from eating your other plants, basically. But again, he has a slow recharge, so... Don't expect to be able to just spam plant them everywhere. That would be a little bit broken. Because then you could, then you could just basically plant a walnut, wait for them to eat it, then plant another there. And just indefinitely stall zombies that way. Cherry Bomb killed both of them. And again, because this, the cherry bomb doesn't just blow up the square it's on, but also any adjacent square as well. So it's a free-by-free free grid with the cherry bomb at the center. It's powerful, but it's actually not necessarily as useful as you might think in this game. Because again, the game is very, very easy. It's perfectly fine to just put a bunch of pea shooters down over and over again. Ah, Blackbeard will get you yet! <laughs> yeah, so you can see... At the end of every level, it always says a huge wave of zombies is approaching. So gradually, throughout the levels, you can get multiple big waves of zombies where just a bunch of zombies will attack you all at once. And those waves are always led by what we call the Flag Zombie. And apparently in the Game of the Year edition, the Flag Zombie is the zombie that I wrote that was personalized. Boom! And then this is not a plant. I say you get a plant at the end of almost every level. Every five levels is a difference, though. You got the shovel! It lets you dig up a plant to make room for another plant. So this is just a useful tool for us. It allows us to destroy our plants that we plant and put something else there instead. And here we get introduced to basically the only character in the game. <laughs> Greetings, neighbor. The name's Crazy Dave. But you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen. I've got a surprise for you, but first, I'll need you to clear your lawn. Use the shovel to dig up those plants. Let the digging commence! <laughs> Click on the shovel to pick it up. Click on a plant to remove it. So we can do that to remove the pea plants. Keep digging until your lawn is clear of plants. There we go. Okay, goody. Now for the surprise. We're going bowling! Here, take this walnut. Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy! Now go! Bowl me a winner! <laughs> Thanks, Crazy Dave. So this introduces one of the gimmicks of the game. Every every so often you'll get a different style of game. So this is a mini game called Walnut Bowling. And you'll notice we don't have our usual plants at top. Instead, this is what we call a conveyor belt level. Where plants will just come to us randomly on a conveyor belt. And on this level, we're only getting walnuts as well as explodo nuts. And walnuts also behave differently in this minigame. Normally, they're just a uh, defensive plant. But here, we can only plant on this left side of the red tape. But if we do so, we go bowling. And the explodo nut is basically a cherry bomb. Darn it. I thought that was going to hit the other two zombies as well. And as you can see, the, bol the walnuts are going to ricochet off of the zombies and hopefully hit other zombies. Which direction they move in after they hit a zombie is random. But 
But you can combo zombies together, which is nice. The Conehead zombies are going to take two bowls in order to defeat. So, yeah. One of, that's, that's one interesting thing. Whether you like the minigames or not, the minigames are at least here to offer some variety to the gameplay in case you're not like a huge fan of just non-stop tower defense levels. So I at least appreciate them trying something new. I'm not a huge fan of Walnut Bowling, but it's at least kind of amusing. This music is unexpectedly good. All right, this is where an Explode Donut will come in handy. Boom! Took them all out. Explode Donuts are plants that you are only going to get during Walnut Bowling, though. You won't actually be able to plant them on normal levels. Just like you're not going to be able to roll your walnuts as bowling balls on regular levels, either. So yeah, this is just a taste of what Plants vs. Zombies has to offer. So yeah, in case the zombie apocalypse ever happens, remember, just take up gardening. Boom shakalaka. A huge wave of zombies is approaching, which means Blackbeard will be arriving with his flag, signaling the start of the huge wave. Final wave, there he is, yar. <laughs> He's not wearing the outfit that I gave him. He's still wearing the suit and tie, which is weird. Goodbye. There we go. So that's Walnut Bowling. Very simple, but kind of fun. I like it. Not as much as the rest of the game, though. You got a new plant, the Potato Mine. Explodes on contact, but takes time to arm itself. Only costs 25 sun. So that's interesting. However, we'll have to get into Potato Mine next time, because I'm going to try to do this Let's Play as a five levels per video. I think that's going to be very nice, and believe me, if we take it five levels per video, we're actually going to beat the game pretty quickly, because, unless I'm mistaken, I think there are only... Let me see. There are only, I think, 50 levels in the entire game, so it'll be 10 videos, and that'll be the main adventure mode. But that's just the start, because, again, there's actually a surprisingly large amount of content in this game. So... That's it for the first episode of Plants vs. Zombies, Game of the Year Edition. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. This is going to be a fun series to join in for. And, at the very least, I'm pretty knowledgeable at this game, so I will try to tell you basically all the secrets, the ins and the outs. And, it, at the very least, it's going to be a nice, fun time. I'm definitely going to enjoy it, so I hope you guys do, too. Hope to see you again for the next episode, and have a great day, and God bless. Hope to see you next time.